Well, the two combatants in this Friday night's War of the Ages traded verbal jabs today in their final pre-fight hype session at the Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. 43-year-old George Foreman will pocket over $12 million Friday, no matter if he wins or loses. Today, he said his meeting with Evander Holyfield was his destiny. He was born so I could get my opportunity to become champion of the world. Mike Tyson, I couldn't get it from him. He wouldn't box me. Buster Douglas didn't want to talk to me. Someone had to come along who would give me a chance. Lou Duva and his team are going to give me the opportunity, and I'm going to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Nobody can stop me. The unbeaten Gay Springs soccer team hasn't been stopped yet either, picking up its third win of the season this afternoon with a 3-1 victory over Patrick Henry down at the River's Edge Sports Complex. The Patriots came into this one looking to upset the Knights. But those plans were disrupted early in the first half with number 14, Bobby Warnick, made a nice pass to number 5, Brian Thews, who kicks it in off the outside of his right foot. It's one to nothing Knights. Kay Spring had another opportunity in the first half. Trey Burnley gets in close for a shot, but the Patriots Kenny Andres takes away the angle and makes a nice save. But the best stop was provided by the Knights Lance Brewer. Watch him jump up and punch Westboro's missile right over the crossbar. Kay Spring beats the Patriots today by a score of three to one. And still to come, John Kernan was in Martinsburg.